about three important things that you need to do, child of God, when you wake up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. in the morning. Thank you so much for joining Inspiration Garage today. My Chinese subscribers, welcome. Praise the name of the Lord. I hope and trust that you're where you're watching me from and God has kept you. If you're watching me for the first time, welcome. My name is Truth. I'm born again. Here I share the word of God. I share faith-based content. And I also help women become better version of themselves with the word of God. So if this sounds like a content the Lord consume, I'm going to encourage you kindly support this growing family by subscribing to this content down below here. And remember to put on the notification bell so that anytime you upload a new video, you're always among the first people to be notified. Today, I want you to remember it's not the first time me sharing on this platform the importance of waking up at night and praying, especially between the hours of 12 a.m. 3 a.m., the hours of 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. It's important for you to know that you are a watchman and you are a God-chosen person. If you find yourself waking up at night during those wee hours of the night, it is not by chance, it is not weird, and it's not a mistake that you have woken up at that time. God is waking you up to speak to you. I've done a message on this platform the, the importance of waking up at night and why God wakes you up at that particular time. I've done that message on this platform. I'm going to tag that message up here. Please click on that message. And I hope that that message, you're going to learn something from that message. That particular time, I call it divine hour. I call it an hour of revelation. I call it an hour chosen by God. It's a divine hour and it's a special hour that God speaks to us. So many times when God wakes you up at that time, remember it's not a mistake. You are a special person of God and God has chosen you to be a watchman. If you look in the word of God in the book of Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 6, the word of God says, But if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet and the people are not warned, and the sword comes and takes any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood I will require at the watchman's hand. His blood I will require at the watchman's hand. When God has chosen you to be a watchman, when God has chosen you to be alert and take care of your flock and change your generation, wake up at night and pray, and declare things into existence and when you wake up and you don't do what god has commanded you to do then if anything happens wrong to the people that you're taking care of if anything happens wrong to generation god will blame you and god will not blame the generation because god has trusted you with that generation for you to wake up at night and pray but many times you'll find that is the sweetest time when you are in deep sleep. And when God wakes you at that time, most of the time you tend to go back to sleep. Remember that is the devil who is commanding you back to sleep. The devil does not want you to accomplish what God has placed into your life. And so the devil will bring very sweet dreams to you and the devil will tell you to go back to sleep. The devil will try to convince you to go back to sleep so that you don't pray and change your generation. Remember, that's also the very time the devil is very alert. The devil is awake at that time and the devil is exchanging your destiny. The devil is manipulating your destiny. That's why it's important as a believer, as a Christian, when you find yourself waking up at that time, remember to pray. God is not waking you up to go and pee. God is not waking you up to do other things. But God is waking up to be alert and watch because the devil is also alert at that time. I was watching another lady on YouTube sometimes back and that lady was serving the devil. That lady had been lured by the devil and that lady happened to be serving the devil at that particular time. But she was delivered. Praise be the name of the Lord. That lady was trying to warn Christians to be watchful and remain steadfast and pray at night, especially the wee hours of the night, 12 a.m. She was saying that particular times when they used to be very active in the devil realm, 
and they were trying to take captive of Christians during that particular time. So she was trying to tell Christians to be alert at that time and pray because that's when the devil is very active. She was even saying that they were decreeing things into existence at that particular time. It's a very dangerous hour to find you asleep. And she was trying to explain how they used to change destinies and cut people's destinies and destroy believers' life during at that particular hour. That shows you how it's important for you to remain steadfast and wake up at night and pray. Waking up and pray will change your generation. Waking up and pray will change your destiny. And so that's why in this message today, I want to tell you three important things that you need to do when you wake up at that particular hour. When you find yourself waking up at that particular hour, it's important for you to know that God is the one who is waking you up. And you are a chosen person of God. You are special. You are not like any other person and you are a watchman. God has trusted you with your generation. God has trusted you with people to pray for. God wants you to change other people's destiny. God wants you to pray for ministries. God wants you to pray for children of God. God has trusted you with their lives. So it is a very big offense when you go back to sleep, when God wakes you up at that time. Tell the devil today you have been defeated. When you find yourself waking up at that time and the devil tells you to go back to sleep, shout to the devil right now and tell the devil you are defeated in Jesus' name. And also it's important for you to know today that God does not speak in the natural body, in your physical body. God will speak to you in your spirit being. And your spirit being is very active at night. You know, you're living in the world that is very noisy. The world is so noisy. And you tend to listen to so many voices in your physical body. So it's very hard for you to hear the voice of God during the day. God will always speak to you at night when it's calm. When now the spirit body has taken over, that's when God will come and speak to you in the spirit. That's why you should always be in the spirit. It's so hard for God to speak to you when you are in your physical body. God will speak to you anytime you switch from the physical to the spirit body. That's when God will speak to you. That's when you'll hear the voices of God. Remember, God speaks to us through dreams and God speaks to us when we are in the spirit. When you are in the flesh, there's no way you're going to listen or hear the voice of God. So remember, you are the gatekeeper and you are the watchman. So you have to remain alert to save your generation. So the first thing you need to do when you wake up at night, child of God, you need to try and remember your last dream. Remember God speaks to us through dreams. So anytime you wake up that time, remember your last dream. I know sometimes it's very hard. Like in most of my cases, I've woken up and I've dreamt like a million dreams. I always try to remember just one major dream in all those dreams. I always tend to describe the other dreams as distractions. I don't know if you have ever found yourself in a situation, you have dreamt so many things, but there's this one major dream. In fact, I don't call it a dream, I call it a vision. There's this one dream that is so long and it's major. The other dreams are just distractions. I'm going to urge you, try to remember that one major dream. Try to remember that dream that God has taken you through all along. Because when you remember your last dream, you'll know where to shoot. You'll know what to pray for. You wouldn't pray amiss. You'll always remember what you're supposed to pray. Because most of the time when you wake up and you just jump into prayer and you don't know what you're praying for. You don't know what you need to pray for. Because God has spoken to you through that dream and God wants you to pray about that particular thing. And when you don't remember that dream, you tend to pray amiss. So always try to remember that dream that you have dreamt or 
that last dream that God has given you. Because I believe it's not just a dream. God is speaking. And God wants you to pray about that particular thing. And like today morning, I dreamt about something. And that dream has always kept on reoccurring. And I was telling God today morning, kindly give me a deeper revelation about this person. Because I'm dreaming about this person all over and all over again. And I know it's not in vain. God wants me to do something about that person. But I want himself to reveal to me the deeper revelation about this dream. So is it also important for you when you wake up at that time, try and remember that dream. If you have been dreaming of this person, dream about this thing every now and then. God is saying something. God is trying to pass a message. Be alert, be sensitive, be in the spirit and try to remember what God is saying. So when you wake up between that time, just try to remember. I know sometimes it's hard, but just try to remember what God has spoken because trust me, God wants you to pray for that particular person. It will give you a direction in your prayer. It will give you a sense of direction, what you need to pray for. You know, don't just be all over your prayer. When you remember about that dream, trust me, you'll be intentional and you'll have a sense of direction and you'll know exactly what to pray for, child of God. It's my prayer today that anytime you wake up at that time, is my prayer that may God give you a calm spirit so that you can remember the last dream or you can remember the dream that you have dreamt so that God can give you a proper direction for your prayers in Jesus' name. The second important thing that we need to do, child of God, when you wake up at that time, meditate. Child of God, meditation is very important for every believer. When you wake up at that time, don't just jump into prayer. Try to calm down and focus and meditate. You know, God speaks and God speaks in calm spirits. You know, when you're in a physical body, sometimes it's very hard to listen to the voice of God. You're very busy chasing money, chasing your career, chasing your dreams, chasing so many things in your physical body. And you tend not to listen or hear the voice of God. But once you switch from a physical body and to switch to the spirit body, your spiritual body, that's when God takes over and God speaks to you. That's why you tend to dream a lot at night. That is God speaking. Remember, God speaks through dreams. So when you're in your physical body, it's very hard for God to speak to you. So when you wake up at night, try to calm down. Remember, you have been in the spirit body. And so God has been speaking to that spirit body. So don't just jump into prayer. Try to meditate calm your spirit and as you keep on calming your spirit God will start revealing to you the deeper secrets of his kingdom God will start revealing to you the things that he placed in your spirit long time ago that's why many giants many CEOs get their revelations at that particular time many visions have been born at 3 a.m. Many dreams have been born at that particular hour through meditation. When you start meditating and calming your spirit, God will start revealing to you deeper visions. God will start giving you directions. God will start revealing to you the things that he placed in your spirit long time ago and you forgot about them. God will trust you the vision even for next year and you forgot about it. So once you calm your spirit, you start to remember the things that God has placed you in your spirit. So it's important for you to meditate at that particular time. Most of the time, that's the time I also start thinking about my business. When I wake up at that time, I start focusing on my business. I start meditating about my business. You know, I start putting notes down about my what I want to see God do in my business. I call it divine hour. It's a very special hour. So when you wake up at that time, don't misuse that hour. Try and make use of it. Maximize that hour and meditate over your life. Meditate over your future. 
Meditate over the future. Meditate on the things that even you have not seen yet. It's a very powerful hour, child of God. It is my prayer that may God give you the grace. May God give you the grace to meditate. And may God give you deeper revelation of his kingdom. In the book of Job, chapter 22, verse 28, the word of God says, You will also declare a thing and it will be established for you. You will also declare a thing and it will be established for you. If you declare something with your own mouth, child of God, it shall be established for you. There is power in your tongue. And that leads to my third and my most important thing that you need to do anytime you wake up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. child of God, you need to declare things into existence. You need to declare what you want to see God do in your life. Declare something and it shall be established. Child of God, that is a divine hour. Do not waste that hour for anything else. Do not trade that hour for anything else. When you find yourself working up at that particular hour, make sure you make use of it and declare things into existence. Tell God exactly what you want to see him do in your life. Just declare things and it shall be established in your life. That's not the hour to close your mouth. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. That's the time to declare things into existence. Speak things into existence. Tell this mountain to move at that time and that mountain will move. Speak to your generation. Speak to your children. Speak to your spouse. Declare what you want to see. God do in your family, in your house, in your business. Declare the fruitfulness of God in your business. Tell God what you want to see in your business. Declare what you want to see in your children, child of God. It's a divine hour. So when you wake up, even before you pray, please declare things into existence. The same lady I was watching, I heard her say when he was serving the devil, they were declaring things into existence. It's a challenge to us as believers and Christians. If the devil's realm can declare things into existence, she was trying to explain when they want to monitor you and they want to catch, they want to get hold of you as a believer, they'll take your name and they'll put a mirror somewhere and they'll call out your name and they'll hold on to your name. For example, they'll say, James, you will not prosper, James. You will not see your future, James. You will not see the goodness of God on the land of the living, James. I'm getting hold of you, James. You will not see your generation, James. You will not prosper. You see, they say things against your name. And she says, when they come into the natural realm, the physical body, those things happen to you. So anytime they declare things into the devilish realm at night, those things come to existence in your physical body. When they say you catch fire, when they say you catch sickness, it will come to pass. So as a believer, it's a challenge to you. If the devil will claim they can declare things to the existence, then what if the superpower, the power of God, the power that God has given you, what if the power that God has instilled into you, you are able to declare things and they'll come to existence. They'll be established. So it's important for you as a believer, counter with the word of God during that time. At that time, they're declaring, be a watchman. Be a watchman and declare and also counter against what they're declaring to your life. Make sure you're awake. So when they wake up, declare. Also wake up as a believer and counter with the word of God. Declare what you want to see in your life and will come into existence, child of God. Never joke with the spiritual things. Never joke with the spirit, child of God. Matters of the kingdom are very serious. It's important for you as a child of God, as a believer, to impress the things of the spirit and do as what the spirit says. And let the spirit direct you. If you lean your own understanding, you're going to perish. If you lean in your own understanding, you're going to flop. 
Lean in God's understanding. Lean in God's understanding. Lean in God's way. And God will direct your paths. If you lean on God, and if you hold on to God, and if you let God lead you, surely God will direct your paths. So it's foolishness to lead in your own understanding. It's foolishness to follow your paths. It's foolishness to lean in your own understanding. Just lean on God. Just lean on his teachings and he's going to direct your paths, child of God. I hope you have learned something from this message today. It's my prayer that this year may God give you the grace. It's my prayer that God may give you the energy. May God give you the stamina. Anytime you wake up at night, let not the voice of the devil speak to you to go back to sleep. Take advantage of that hour. Embrace that hour. Stay calm in your spirit and just let God lead you. And God will direct your paths. It's my prayer that this year may you be intentional with your prayer and especially night prayers. I'll ask God today to give you the grace to pray more at night, to focus more on the kingdom of God. And it's my prayer today that may you take spiritual matters seriously. And anytime when God wakes you up at that time, take advantage of that time and change your life. Things have happened at that time. God has changed destinies at that particular hour. It's important for you to take the matters of God seriously and get hold of that hour and maximize that hour. And trust me, your life will never be the same again. Thank you so much for watching this message. I hope you have learned something from this message. And remember, if you're watching this message and you're not subscribed to this channel, kindly support our growing family on this platform by subscribing to this channel. And also remember to like these messages. Anytime you like these messages, it makes us go viral on YouTube. And these messages will reach as many people as possible to the glory and honor of God. And by doing so, God will also decorate your life. And also remember to watch the messages I always recommend at the end of these messages to the glory and honor of God. Thank you so much for being here. And remember to also tell someone about Jesus today. Thank you so much for being here. God bless you. Bye for now. God bless you. And until next time, goodbye.